Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this two-step word problem on whole numbers. The question is, Mr. Baker bought a guitar and a microphone. The guitar cost $1,589 and the microphone cost $572. If he had $3,500 at first, how much money had he left after paying for the two items? Now there are two methods to solve this problem and we'll look at both the methods. So first method first, let's see, he had $3,500 at first. So on the model, we will put the sum of money he had at first and this unit over here is the sum of money he had at first and that was $3,500. Now he used $1,589 to buy a guitar. Okay, so on the model diagram, if this is the unit that represents that amount of money, then this would be equal to $1,589. So from the sum of money that he had at first, which was $3,500, he spent $1,589 on the guitar. So the amount of money that he had left after paying for the guitar would be this shaded block over here right this shaded unit so first we'll find out how much money he had left after paying for the guitar so he had three thousand five hundred dollars minus one thousand five hundred and eighty nine dollars that's the first step okay and we'll do the working here on the right we won't go into the details of how subtraction is done since we've covered that in a previous tutorial in details so uh, we'll do a quick subtraction here on the right we regroup the hundreds and the tens Okay, so we can carry out the subtraction and uh, here is how it goes. 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1, 4 minus 5, we can't do that. So we regroup again. Uh, we regroup the thousands this time. So 14 minus 5 is 9 and 2 minus 1 is 1. All right, so the sum of money he had left after paying for the guitar is 1000 911 dollars so this green shaded unit over here okay that is equal to 1911 dollars now from the 1911 dollars he bought a microphone and that cost him 572 dollars okay so first he had three thousand five hundred dollars he paid one thousand five hundred and eighty nine dollars for the guitar and he had one thousand nine hundred and eleven dollars left now from that money he paid $572 for the microphone okay so that is uh, your unit over there $572 so then obviously the money he had left in the end would be equal to this blue shaded unit over here okay so we'll find out how much that is equal to and that will give us the final answer okay so step two of the solution is to find out the money he had left in the end and that would be equal to $1,911 which we got from the first step right minus $572 which he paid for the microphone and that would be equal to let's do the working here again okay on the right of the screen so here is the answer for that we won't go into the detail steps like I said we did the tutorial and subtraction in details so if you're not sure how to do the subtraction please go uh, and check that tutorial and you will understand how the subtraction happened okay so um, $1,911 minus $572 is equal to $1,339 so the money he had left in the end after paying for the two items is $1,339 okay so that was method one now there's another method to solve this problem and we we'll look at that as well okay so let's call that method two he had $3,500 at first so we'll start again from there the sum of money he had at first was equal to this big unit over here the green unit which was $3,500 now from this money he spent a certain amount of money for the guitar and the microphone. So we'll find out how much he spent all together on the guitar and the microphone. Okay, so he spent a total of $1,589 plus $572. So that's the total sum of money he spent. 
Now after paying for the guitar and the microphone, he had some amount of money left in the end and that's the answer we are seeking, right? So first what we will do is we'll find out the total money he spent on the two items and then subtract that from the total amount of money he had at first and that will tell us how much money he had left in the end. Okay, and that's the answer we are seeking, right? So the first step is to find out the cost of the guitar and the microphone altogether. So the guitar and the microphone together they cost $1,589 plus $572. So we'll do the working over here. It's simple addition. 9 plus 2 is 11. We regroup and then 1 plus 8 plus 7 is 16. We regroup that as well. 1 plus 5 plus 5 is 11. Regrouping again and 1 plus 1 is 2. All right. So now if you don't know how to do addition with regrouping, Please check out the tutorials on addition with regrouping that has got detailed steps of how to do addition. All right. Okay. So $1,589 plus $572 is equal to $2,161. So out of the $3,500 he had at first, he spent $2,161 on the guitar and the microphone together. So then the amount of money he had left in the end would obviously be equal to $3,500 minus $2,161. And let's do the subtraction over here on the right of the screen in the working space. And that is equal to, well, we'll have to regroup the hundreds and the tens. Okay, 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the money he had left in the end after paying for the two items was $1,339. So we saw two methods of solving this problem. Both the methods gave us the same answer. It really depends upon you how you want to do it. Okay. All right. That brings us to the end of this lesson. For more word problems and other questions, check out the website my.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye.